Wow. As of a few days ago, Google has indexed over 56.5 billion web pages. Of those, currently there's about 200 million active. So how do you make sense of all of this? Well, I've compiled a list of 10 websites that I find incredibly useful. First, let's start off with one of my favorites called Radio Garden. Radio Garden is a simple website. Well, maybe not so simple, but it's a globe. And when you scroll through here, all these green dots are radio stations throughout the world. So you can zoom in on any particular country. Say, for example, we want to go to London, England. Now we're listening to live radio coming out of London, England. On the left here of the name is the number of radio stations in that particular area. So if you click on that, you can scroll through this list and you can view all 377 radio stations in that particular area and pick which one you want to listen to. And if it's a favorite, you simply click on the heart here, add it to your favorites, then you've got a shortcut. So definitely come back in here and search the world for your favorite radio stations. Next up on the list, we have wonderground.com or the weather underground. Come up on the right hand side here, type in the city that you're interested in. In this case, I have Calgary. You can view the satellite images, the actual weather at the time. You can view satellite um, radar images. You can view the precipitation, tomorrow's weather, the next five days, pollen count, air quality index, UV index. There is so much information on this page. So if weather is your area of interest, check this website out. Next up on the list, we have 10minutemail.com. Why is this one important? When you sign up on certain websites to download an app or to download a document, they ask for your email address. What inevitably happens? You get bombarded with spam email. So this site, you come in here, you sign up for an email account, which is listed right here. You have 10 minutes to use this email address. You go sign up for that website or that service that you want. They send you the verification email. Click on your inbox right here once the email comes in and you can give them the verification code. So it's a legitimate email, but it gets deleted after 10 minutes. So you don't have to worry about spam. Next up, just for fun, you're getting old.com. What you would do is come into this website, type in a day. So let's just choose January 1st, uh, let's say 1970. Click on go. It gives you a whole bunch of information about that particular day. So if you type in your birthday, it'll tell you exactly how old you are. Um, it'll give you some information on that day of who else was born at the time, some various historical events that may have happened at that time, what your star sign is. Scroll through this list. There is so much information and it's really interesting to view it. Flightradar24.com. The next website up is viewing flight information across the world. You can zoom in or out of any particular location. The more you zoom in, the more information you will get. So if, for example, we're zooming into Cal uh, Vancouver right now, we can see all the planes that are currently at the Vancouver airport, including ones that are taking off. It even shows you helicopters that are flying. If you click on a particular aircraft, you can see which one it is, its um, origin, its destination, as well as a whole bunch of other information on the left-hand side. So if you're one that's tracking an air, air flight from family that's going somewhere or coming to visit you, really handy website to keep track of them. Oh, come on. Don't lie. How many of you out there are really nostalgic and want to go back to the 80s arcade games? Things like Pac-Man, Centipede, uh, Donkey Kong. That was one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I'm aging myself at this point. But any all of these old-fashioned games... They're all on this website, free80sarcade.com. You cannot go wrong with these. They, like I say, they're free and they're very nostalgic for those that grew up in that era, such as Space Invaders. So give this a check. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? You'll lose a bit of time as you get immersed in these old styled games. Next up, we have noises.online. Why is this useful? Well, most people cannot work in absolute silence, but they don't particularly want loud music playing. So on this website, come in here and pick a combination of things. Say, for example, you wanted rain. Click on raindrops and it'll start playing music in the background that's associated with rain. We want to add some birds to that. So let's click on the birds over here. 
You can add some white noise, some brown noise, pink noise. All of these things are just to help you relax while you're working and you block out the total silence that a lot of people cannot work with. How many times have you watched a movie or a TV show or read a book and you thought, wow, that is really good. Now, what else is out there that is like this? Welcome, tastedive.com. On the left-hand side, under Categories, select what you're interested in. So mu music, movies, TV shows, books, authors, games, podcasts. Let's say, for example, we select TV shows. And I used to really enjoy a TV show called 24. It comes up in the list here. And there we go. It shows us a whole bunch of TV shows that are along the same veins as 24. So you can certainly choose those. Or if you're watching a movie, say, for example, you enjoyed watching The Hobbit. Scroll down the list. It'll give you a, a bunch of movies that are similar to what The Hobbit was or in the same vein as The Hobbit. Same thing with books and everything else. So don't worry about any more about what shows to find. Pop on to tastedive.com and you'll find something that's very similar to what you enjoyed. How many times have you been watching a TV show or a movie? A song comes on and you really want to know what it is, but by the time you grab your phone and bring up Shazam, it's already gone. So you have no idea what song that was. That's where TuneFind comes in. TV shows, movies. Just click on your TV show, click on the search up here. And let's type, for example, WandaVision. Season one. And we can see that episode one has 13 songs. Episode two has 11 songs. When we click on the particular episode, it'll list all the songs that were in that particular episode of that TV show. Same thing applies to movies, including links to how to get the song on Amazon, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, and so on and so forth. So don't guess what the song was anymore. Just pop up into tunefind.com and it's easy. Last up on my list for now is a site called internetlifestats.com. Just for those geeks out there that like to know statistics. Here we have the total number of internet users in the world right now. Over 4 billion, almost hitting 5 billion. The total number of websites the number of emails that have been sent today. Oh my goodness, I wonder how many of those are actually spam. The total number of tweets, blogs, Google searches, videos uploaded onto YouTube. So there you can see just today, there have been over 4 billion views on YouTube. And there's a whole bunch more information in here that you can certainly click on. When you click on any one of these, for example, um, say for example, we clicked on Google. More information, that, uh, Google searches today, this year. So that each one of these has a couple of different options that you can certainly click on and get additional information. Anyway, that's for those geeks out there that like their statistics.